duly noted. Want to know what I believe? I believe that you're way out of your depth in this matter. So the next time that you want to come in here and tell me what I'm doing wrong, you are welcome to keep it to yourself. Because I don't care. <laughs> What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, the Shoot 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and chest. So David Zaslav is looking for a Kevin Feige type to run DC films, which makes about as much sense as a red Idaho housewife who's asking to be a born-again virgin. So without further ado, let's break this bitch down and see what we got. Sorry, I think I just got you guys wet. So it seems that David Zaslav is living up to his word because look at what's being promoted right here. Stream the biggest DC hits. We have The Batman, Zack Snyder's Just League, and as David Zaslav likes to call it, the epic movie, which is Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I love it, bro. And it's funny because when this was under the watchful eye of Toby, the destroyer of franchises, Emmerich, and Crypt Keeper, and Granny Goodness Sarnoff, and Jason, I no longer have a job, I have to sell myself to the fucking streets, Kalar, this shit was not being promoted. Barely being promoted. At all. And it only took when David Zaslav came in. It's like, hey, guess what? Zack Snyder's Just League was the fourth most streamed film on HBO Max. It was a massive success. It actually boosted the fucking app, which is HBO Max. They finally took notice. And once they're gone, David Zaslav was like, listen, um, we have the biggest IP in the world. Why aren't we promoting this shit? Like, what's going on? We have Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So let's actually promote this shit. And get the ball rolling, which is exactly what he's doing. And I fucking love it. Kid, I got to pee. You want me to pee in your in other news, David Zaslav, CEO of the newly combined Warner Brothers Discovery, wants someone to serve as a creative and strategic czar, similar to what Marvel has in Kevin Feige. What the fuck is czar? I've never heard of that word in my entire life, bro. When I think of the word czar, I'm thinking of a fucking villain in Star Trek or Star Wars. What is that word? Anyway, of course, all the fanboys, including myself, want Zack Snyder to be the head man in charge, which only makes sense because Zack Snyder and DC go together like fucking Eddie Diaz and a plastic bag. Go together like Ezra Miller and a fucking straight jacket. Go together like a redhead old housewife Jezebel who sucks more cock than Ava Adams, right? So it only makes sense that Zack Snyder would be the man in charge. However, I think that Zack Snyder, as much as he loves DC and, um, and these characters... At the end of the day, he's a director who wants to move on to other passion projects that I'm sure he has lined up in his head. My line of thinking was probably like a Deborah Snyder to be the quote-unquote Kevin Feige alongside Jim Lee. Because I think um, Deborah Snyder is a great producer who loves the characters. But Jim Lee obviously is fucking DC through and through and he understands the character. So that would be my team. Are you slow? You gotta be slow. You have to be. The, the school system has failed you many times. Some they write upstairs, and I recommend therapy and 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 whatever resources you can um you can obtain. And this is something that I really found fascinating. Americans prefer Ben Affleck as Batman, the goat, the chosen one, the worthy one, the only man who can fucking rock that Batman chin and get my nipples as hard as a fucking diamond, bro. Ben Affleck, I've said this time and time again. At first, people were like, Ben Affleck, I really don't like that Batman. He kills and all that stuff. And of course, you still have those balding virgins who are complaining about that stupid shit. But for the rest of us, slowly but surely, more and more people are just opening up to like you know what ben affleck really is the fucking best batman like like the more time goes on just like man of steel just like bbs over time man of steel was going to be looked at as a great superman film and more and more people are coming around to that same line of logic same with fucking bbs and same with ben affleck i think over the years when all everything is said and done and the dust has settled, people are going to look back at Ben Affleck's like, yo, Ben Affleck really was the GOAT. And he's not done yet because we still want that HBO Max Ben Affleck series, which I do believe strongly in my fucking heart that the Snyderverse is going to get restored and we will get that Ben Affleck Batman series, which will blow our mind, balls, virgins, ass away, bro. Like, who doesn't want to see a Ben Affleck Batman show? Like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? That would be the best Batman show of all fucking time. Uh, uh, I'm waiting. 
old man. Uh. So that's gonna be it, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord to join the Truth Army. Share the video, like the video if you would be so kind. As always, put your comments down below and tell me what they think. Think truth. No one cares about the Snyderverse. We don't want a Zack Snyder to be the Kevin Feige because he sucks. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go watch my fucking Lexington Steel Wesley Pipes one on one video by myself because I'm a lonely, sad fucking virgin. Or do you think truth, the Snyderverse? will be restored and we will get that Ben Affleck series and it would be cool if we got Deborah Snyder to be the Kevin Feige type. I think that'd be fucking pretty cool alongside Jim Lee because that would be fucking awesome because Deborah Snyder is awesome. And as always, love you guys. Stay safe. Truth out. Hey, hey, hey.